I've seen people using suction cups and weird things to open up their MacBook Pro touch bar and I think it's rubbish. It really is stupid because there's an easy and simple way to do it and here is how to do it. So the first thing you need to do is follow these steps because you do not want the computer to turn back on while working on it. Very important guys, you can fry your computer if you don't do that. So the first thing you want to do obviously is take off all the screws. There are four screws in the front and two in the back. And the two in the back are the longest one. And to help you understand how to remove the back without breaking it, I'm going to show you the inside of it. So there are four latches on which the back is attached. One here, one here, one here, and one here. And the one on the side are really, really hard to remove. They're attached really well. These ones are not as much. And the reason why you have to slide down the back cover is because you see those grooves here well the back has little teeth that actually slides under here in order to stop you from removing it so you really have to slide it down as i will be showing you so let's get to it once you're done taking off the screws make sure that the side with the four screws is facing you so now what we want to do is start from the back where the four screws are and you want to use a plastic prior to lift up gently and keep it in place like I'm showing you right now. It is very important to use two tools because it's held down pretty well. So you really need to have some lever on it and you want to slide it up and you will hear a big clunk. It's pretty scary, but that's just the clips that's been undone. So you want to do that on both sides. So take your time, pry it. I use my hand a bit and also the plastic prior to just give me enough room to place the plastic prior so some people use suction cups i don't get it you can see that you cannot pull it back like that the problem that we're facing is the two clips in the center are still in so lift up the back on the side very gently until you hear it pop here we go that's one and then do the same on the other side boom and now nothing is attached anymore except the little grooves in the front. So, so now it's time to pull it back towards you very gently and you shouldn't have to use too much force. I'm barely pulling it and that's it. That's how simple it is to take the back. It's just a bit tricky, but it's very simple. To put everything back together, it's pretty much the same-ish. So what you want to do is have the back lifted up a tiny bit while pushing it down like such making sure the grooves get in so just once again very gently push it in you can see that i'm doing it very easily but it took me about three or four tries to do that i'm not showing you all the tries because it would take too long but see i wasn't sure on that one so i put it out and then pushing it back in again lifting in the back a tiny bit helps pushing in the grooves and make sure it really is aligned and once this is done you can push down on the back where the clips are and you will hear it pop again and that's it put the screws back in and you're done all right guys that's it for this video hopefully it helped you and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already it really does help a lot and hit the like button if you did enjoy this video i'll see you guys in the next one